Countrywide on RTE Radio 1. Sponsored by Caller Gas. Celebrating 80 years, bringing energy to Ireland's homes and businesses. Every September since the 1880s, single people looking for love have flocked to the Liston Varna Matchmaking Festival. There have been plenty of stories of marriages, romance and heartbreak. And now a new play by local man Dermot Petty captures the adventures of the festival. The play is called Jiving Lessons for the Broken Hearted and will have its world premiere in the Royal Spa Hotel in Listoon tonight. With a catchy title like that, Brenda Donoghue had to go down, step it out in Liston Varna to find out a little bit more at this week's dress rehearsal. So it's your first time in Liston Verna? It truly is. And what would you be looking for in the men? Sophisticated, well to do, handsome, uh-huh. good sense of humour. Right. That he has all his own hair and tea. Uh, and oh, good in bed. Ha! Good in bed? Most of the men in my book are good in bed. In fact, some of them barely ever get out of the bed. You'll be spied for choice, missus. You'll be spied for choice. Shattered, don't you see? That you no longer care for me. Dermot Petty, you're the writer, you're acting in this play as well. Are you native to Listum Varna? I am. I grew up here and in fact we used to have a and b with the matchmaking festival so I'm very familiar with it as is everyone. The town is pretty synonymous with the matchmaking festival. So in the September we used to all sleep in the kitchen because all the beds were pretty much rented out. In fact that's probably how we were raised by the matchmaking festival. <laughs> it's reinvented itself over the years. It used to be right after the harvest the farmers would come here and the matches were made. Nowadays I think it's a place where just it's more for middle age and beyond because I think society has kind of not not necessarily cast them aside, but in Ireland where we sort of ignore anyone after 40 or 50 that's single. Whereas in Liston Varna, it's a very natural thing and there's always the great hope they might meet someone. You live here locally and you said that a lot of people in their 40s and 50s, when it comes to romance, they do feel invisible. Where is that coming from? Well, it's coming from myself. I'm in my, I'm in my 50s and I moved back to Ireland 10 years ago and I think Ireland is very isolated in that regards. We're socially late to things like divorce where I live in the state where people could be still dating in their 70s. Here, if you're not in your 50s and you're a man or a woman, people don't see you. They already start putting the bachelor pants on you and they don't see you there. And I think as a society, it's something we do need to deal with. I think Liston Varna, not by what you call, it wasn't planned socially, but it actually allows people to be in that age and actually have a great time. But I think Irish society in general is really bad. Unless you have a couple of kids or you're married or whatever, you're not seen in society. And I hope this play will start that discussion a lot of times. The play follows six people on a weekend in Liston Varna and it shows that they're all looking for love and it's very much about the adventures they have over that weekend. So world premiere in Liston Varna about Listoon Varna. Mm. Will you be allowed to show your face in the town again, do you think? A great question. And, <laughs> and, 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 and as I said to the cast, they'll either love it or they'll hunt me out of town. I said, the cast will be fine. It's me they'll kill. But you know what? I'm very honoured to do it here and hopefully they'll like it. Jiving lessons for the heartbroken. Don't we just love that title or what? Where did you get it? I was doing a thing with Hatchek. It was a thing down in Limerick and it was jiving lessons and I often just put the correlation. It's a bit like the Casablanca list on Varna sometimes and it's like the heartbroken just waiting for the plane to come. So jiving lessons allows them to get there. My dreams have shattered, don't you see? That you no longer care for me. How are you? Yeah, by you. She did. Oh, she did not. But not yet. Still the possibility remains. You're thrashing without a belt now, my good man. And with a much more than mid and large and well stocked dairy farm in Roscommon. Talk to you soon, you great big lump of a Midlands love machine. The James Brown of Mullingar. <laughs> and now it's over to the play's director, Joan O'Halloran. OK, guys, we're getting really close. Hersels are going well. But we need to go over that first act again. And slow down, lads. I want to give them a good old night. Right. And you can stop laughing. (laughs) You're up after it. (laughs) Gee, Mac, the dancing was only wonderful. As cracked, crazy or stressed people were for that glorious three minutes on the dance floor, all was forgotten. All that mattered was the rhythm of the music, your dance partner, your heart. In fact, I was a different man out on that dance floor. Why, you're a mighty fine dancer. Uh, Thanks very much. You don't say much, do you? Or I don't have that much to say. Well, that's a comfort, I suppose. My dreams have shattered, don't you see? 
I'm just going to meet some of the cast here. Leslie Shepherd, how are you? Hi, I'm very well, thank you. That's not a Clare accent. It's not. No, I'm originally from England, from Surrey, but I've been living in Liz Nirvana now for just over a year. Um, I'm actually doing do organic farming. I came over here to work at um, a local eco centre. So part of that eco centre, they have a large organic garden and that's um, one of my responsibilities. So I've been doing that for the last year. Um, and it's quite a challenge in the Irish weather, but it's been really good fun and I've learnt loads. I am passionate about organic gardening and permaculture principles as well. So um, it's something that I've been meaning to learn about for a while. And so coming here has given me the opportunity to do that. And are you, are you looking for a farmer yourself? I would love to own my own place one no, that day. That was yeah. my question. <laughs> Moving over here to Claire. Hi, Claire. What's your surname? Varden. Varden. And tell me a little bit about yourself. Yeah, well, I'm originally from Clare, but I lived abroad in a lot of cities. And I moved back to Ireland with a view to calming things down a bit and living in the West and semi-retirement in my 40s. Um, I'm playing a character, Mary, in her 50s. I'd like to point out that uh, I'm not actually in my 50s. (laughs) (laughs) And yeah, it's great. I I got involved in drama here just to meet people, to get to know people, because uh, not being from the area, it's hard to break in. And I don't farm either. I'm a pharmacist, not a farmer. What has drawn you to this play? Why do you think it works? Because it is very accurate. Every character in it you'll have met on any September weekend in Listoon Varna and a few more besides. Thank you for talking to us. Thanks, Brenda. <laughs> As the rehearsal comes to an end, it's a final pep talk from Dermot. You're here to make history. There's a story to be told of rural isolation, of broken hearts, of looking for love, finding it and not finding it. And we are going to create this with this world premiere of this play. And I thank you very much for being involved with that. So let's go and have a great show. Stop the world and let me off. And that's Brenda Donoghue there at Jiving Lessons for the Broken Hearted in Listoon Varna.